There is a space where you are all you need, where you are all you want. All there is is here. Welcome to the Source Connection, conversations about who we truly are, the possibilities of creation and the new earth we are birthing, with your host, Tara Long and Liz B. Folks, welcome everyone. We have our very special guest back for a second time. Falk is here with us today, and we're going to get to all kinds of good stuff that he's been up to. But before we do that, we'll start just uh, with a little tuning in, a little relaxation, just so you can come Mm. back, come home to yourself in this moment. And we can create some of that coherence being together today. Just sharing our hearts and our minds. So if you'd like to close your eyes and get comfy, you can do that. <sighs> Take some breaths that you need, whatever you need, whatever your body needs. And just feel, feel the chair or wherever you're sitting or lying, just feel it really, really holding you, supporting you today. And you don't have to do anything right now except just to be here and just be yourself. And just bring all of yourself to this moment. whatever that means to you right now and relax. Letting your shoulders drop a little bit deeper, letting go of something. Any idea or notion or expectation of who to be or how to be. Letting everything be just as it is. And remembering the perfection in that. Remembering you always have the opportunity to be here, to remember yourself, the depths of you, the light of you. It's always right here. It's never anywhere else. And it's so simple. It's not complex. It's just right here. It's 
So feel the breath in your body. Feel your breath moving in your body, however it's moving. You can move the body if you'd like. Do whatever you need. And when you're ready, you can come back to the space and open your eyes. Or keep them closed if you're listening to us today. Thanks, everyone. And Falk, um, this is your second time here with us. And so just if you will remind the folks of um, if you want to introduce yourself, whatever you'd like to share today. And then, um, yeah, just what's going on for you. What's alive for you? Well, when did we last meet? Mm -hmm. Several it's months funny, ago. It's funny you ask that because I was going to look today and because I wanted to know too, but. Well, I will look. Hold on. Yeah. Hold the phone. But keep going. <laughs> wait, you have wait. such a soothing voice, Tara. Mm -hmm. just, I'm very relaxed now. Uh, well, my, name is, <laughs> my, my name is Falcon Scholl. And uh, that's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're just going to like chill out and stare at each other for the like, hour. Uh, <laughs> like an hour of just, just hanging out. <laughs> like eye gazing and just like <laughs> you're welcome to join us folks okay wait I'm, I'm i have a question ready. for you we can start there yeah sure. do you want to do that mm -hmm. see you're so relaxed and then things will come up seven months ago was our last so i thought it was a while back so yeah. it was, that was it's october it's that was march yeah. okay wow but probably right before my 40th birthday Oh, mm -hmm. happy mm -hmm. 40 happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Glad you were born. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So my question was, where we left off last time, Swap Me Baby was going to be released. And then, um, so what has unfolded since then? And how was that? And we maybe we can start there. Yeah, uh, it has been released. Mm -hmm. Swap Me Baby, a little body swap comedy is currently on Amazon and iTunes uh, for purchase and rental. And then we are going to AVODs, uh, Tubi and the likes uh, now in October. Mm -hmm. I don't have a specific date yet, but it's been challenging. I'm not going to lie. It's been uh, it's been really rough. You know, I've, I've been going out there and I think we've talked about this last time I was on. I've been trying to change and find new ways of, of how to make a film and then distribute it. Yeah. And the making of it was successful. I think we talked about that last time and it was yep. really great. And it was a model where I was able to prove, okay, it works and we can, we can do this. Um, marketing, however, and, and distributing, it's just so difficult to get a movie out there and to get it seen. Mm -hmm. But even more so, it was really difficult to find people that were willing to completely forget what they know huh. and do something new. I, in my dream, I was finding these rogue, it's not an age thing, but just to have a visual, these rogue 23 year olds that are like shiny eyed and have new ideas. And they were like, we can do this. You know, yeah. we send little, uh, uh, screen iPhones to people, and not that, but just just something where I'm like, look, what is, what is, a, what is a new way of doing things? Yeah, and it just nobody nobody is being innovative, mm -hmm. and I had I even had the 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 I guess power to say, don't worry about profit, which mm -hmm. freaked people out. They didn't say oh. this, but I could always tell that people were like. Oh, we don't want like what like that? No, we want to make money. And I was, I was like, yeah, make money. That's great. Like if we make a lot of money, great. But yeah. that is not your agenda. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I found really nice guys that I connected with, um, and they they kind of got what I was saying, but they were just too much, or they're they're still, um, and we're working together. So I'm I'm want to make sure that I put this the right way. They're doing their thing and they're doing it well. But it's not what I had hoped, you know, and then marketing the same thing. You know, we talked about this. I was like, look, especially at the time when we were talking, the, the vaccine was a thing. And, you know, I mean, it still is. But and 
And I was like, well, let's talk about it. I only want to talk to outlets that are interested in just in general, having difficult conversations and holding a space like you guys do where you can talk about it. And it's not, it doesn't define you. It just yeah. brings us forward and, and, and inspires us and hopefully triggers us and we can deal with yeah. our triggers. All right. But it's just the concept that I, <laughs> you know, the money world is still very strong and it's still guiding most people. You know, most people's number one fear is money, especially right now. Yep. Um, there's not a lot of people that are willing to just sort of go, uh, yeah, no, no, let's let's try something else and see if the money follows. Mm -hmm. um, we're doing another press round right now for ABODs and I have managed to find a publicist where I, I basically told him, look, I want Joe Rogan and Russell Brands and um, whatever that version is, meaning people that talk like you guys, you know, like uh, uh, we're sitting here and we're just, we don't know what's coming up. You know, I, I right. don't think you have a list ready and you're like, how was the costume for Hawkman? <laughs> That's literally the one of the interviews I did where I was like, yeah. this is seven years ago. Who the fuck cares? <laughs> I'm like, no, let's go forward. Uh, huh. yeah. But yeah, anyway, so that was swap me. It's been it's been tough and yeah. The the hopes of making four million dollars so I can make the next film has not happened yet. Right. Yeah. Yet and also just to, to put into context here for our listeners, um, I mean, you've been in some major production with big name actors and all of that. And so it's a big contrast, I believe, to just want to be innovative. It's so much easier to just go, okay, this is how people do things. Let's do it. But then when something doesn't resonate that deeply anymore and you're looking for a new way to find people who are brave like you and courageous enough to want to try Right. Yeah. And how do we get here where we don't even want to try when we are saying, OK, if we make one, that's great. But that's not the point. Let's try something new because we could be opening a new path of possibilities. Right. Of creative potential. And there is a disconnect there that just comes back to the material. And it's like and then it gets stuck like, oh, uh, I don't I don't know how to do that. So it makes me think of how do we get here? I mean, there's so many ways to approach that, but. Whew. Well, then that's the other part of it. I'm a, you know, in my trauma release work with people and my own work, I still stand by it's all my own creation or your, your life is your own creation. And so yeah. I see this stagnancy and this not managing it as my, the reflection of my own issue you know i don't think there is a world out there that i'm fighting that is wrong and i'm right mm -hmm. so clearly something in me is still going ah, ah you know doubting or mm -hmm. or or not quite motivated enough myself you know maybe i am very similar mm -hmm. to what i'm complaining about and i just can't see it yet or i don't know where to to pull that thread um because otherwise it also wouldn't frustrate me anymore. I am, I mean, I'm getting to a place where I'm calmer about it and, you know, life is really good. So I don't rely on any of this anymore. And I'm even at a point where I'm like, Hey, if I'm not supposed to tell stories, that's fine. You know, I love it and I will in my own shape or form. But yeah, uh, if I can't find an authentic connected way to do this, mm. um, then it's not meant to be. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's just curious. It's curious when you make such a drastic shift, Yeah, what happens, what doesn't happen, what of your, your shadow comes up. Um, so I'm in the midst of it. Yeah. Yeah. It's all, uh, the purification of all of that inside of us, right? Like you're talking yeah. about. And also there is the factor of there is at least half of the world, well, most of the world that still does operate that way, right? So we're going to come up, we're, it's going to be a factor for us. And, and especially, especially in that industry or in industries like it, you know, I mean, it's old, it's, it's, it's been like that for a long time, you know? So yeah. I guess my question is, Falk, if you're dreaming, like if you're mm -hmm. dreaming what it is that you want, the people that you want, they're 
what their, you know, um, intention is and all of that. Like, what is that for you? Like, so just so we can put it out there, right. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Be listening or, you know, like yeah. you already said, the Joe Rogans or the whatever. So like a bigger, a big platform, right. Okay. Yes. That's awesome. But like, who are these people? Like, who are they? What not are even, they? I mean, not even that was, even that is the old ways, which we switched now, yeah. right. The Russell brand, Joe Rogan is like, wow, that's where the eyes are, right? And that's how we then dollars yeah. and all that stuff. The truth is, I don't even need that. What I need is just the right amount of people yeah. with the right amount of whatever is needed um, to hear this mm-hmm. and to find people on the artist level. I think it's done. We've, I've, I'm very certain and have proven this. There's plenty of us artists that are going... Yeah can I please express myself freely? <laughs> so there's no, I, I, you know, there's a ton of abundance out there. Yeah. Um, it's really the patrons, the investors, the, the, the more business minded people, the marketing people, the distributors where I'm calling upon people to say, look, uh, join us in telling story and making entertainment. Um, from a place of inspiration, mm. from a place of childlike wonder. Mm-hmm. You know, if you're if you are a financially abundant person, I want people that say, "Oh my God, I would love to be a part and contribute my talent, which is financially being abundant, overly so that I don't know where to put it." Right. To say, I, I want to support artists, and I want to have a voice in that. I want to. Uh, just kind of see what happens and and create this painting, you know, that we can then hang up on the wall and see, see who likes it and who doesn't. Mm. Um, I want to have producers that say, I, I really want to help you try to do this differently. Mm. Marketing people that say, Hey, I think this is how we get the word out. Mm. Authenticity. No, I want the meetings I'm doing quotation marks, the LA mm. meeting, whatever they are. I want them to be like this. It's it's a real honest conversation, not worried about, you know, am I saying the right thing? It's just sort of like, what do you need? What do you want? Why are you here? Why are we talking? Yeah. Yeah. And then the the making of the film, all that is done. Like that, that I I'm not worried about. Mm. You know, it's the yeah. funding and the marketing and the distrib- distribution. Yes. And we, we actually have a little circle now of, of folks who were just talking about this the other day. Uh, like, oh, we have to connect our, all our, all our like entertainment people. And you came because, up. Yeah. Mm. We're like, oh, we have this like handful of you guys that That's I don't a, know what happened. But, That's how it starts. I think you, yeah. you guys just got together and you nurture the ground and you do it because of the, the love for the tending and for the doing and all that. And then, you know, little seeds. Yeah. spread into plants yeah 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 it's uh it's very interesting that we're having this conversation now because yeah i feel like it's the continuation of the dream right now we're putting into words i think the three of us are very committed into creating a new paradigm um in different areas and it, it all ends up being in the same it's the human arena um yeah. and I think that there are people out there. It's just a matter of that connection materializing here, right? Because I can only imagine that in every sector, at every level, there's some discontent and there's somebody looking for what is new, what is trying to be birthed? Why are we still doing things this way? And I feel like the people who have benefited from that system will have a harder time letting that go, right? And so, it's it, and as you said, it's coming up also in ourselves, our own systems, our own conditionings, and how do we break that down individually and then together as we come together to create this new whatever thing it is that we are creating. Yeah. I think it's facing our fears, right? In in a way, facing our discomforts. That's what, that's how I see it manifest. You know, I'm, I think I was here, yeah, when we last spoke, I'm on this beautiful ranch, I got everything I need. And yet this path of like, let's just call it in and let's be present and let's be guided and let's be transparent, authentic about it goes against, well, you should be hard. You should be hard at work 
should be beating the pavement and you should you should get a new agent and you should do this and maybe it's time to take a movie again so my my value and my name doesn't disappear from the whatever and 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 that's the battling of it you know having mm. no car you know we're dealing with that right now it's like, okay are we leasing a car all right well finances okay well it would be good if i did a film and then to always come back to no i meant no i'm not gonna i just said this to somebody it's not that i i'm trying to eradicate fear I'm just trying to be really friendly with it and let it do its thing while I sit still and then act upon inspiration versus out of fear. That's the only thing. And that is really difficult. And as, as these things in the world happen, you know, these big things, it just, that fear and that difficulty expands for everybody, yeah. you know, and it becomes more, more difficult. And I think we just got to get, <laughs> This is the workout, I think, right? This is the, can you be comfortable in mm. this comfort? Mm, amen. I can relate to everything you said. And yeah, it's so beautiful also to see that reflected in each other. And I think it soothes. So soothing. It soothes yeah. the soul to like, oh my God. You're not alone. It's much bigger than not us. Not alone. Like, it's so mm. much bigger than our own individual expressions and our experiences. But I'm with you, I think that there is an alchemy happening at that level and we are the ones i say the ones choosing to do so and be in this discomfort and really as you said act upon inspiration not obligation of like oh this is what i should do based on whatever the old ideas are of how yeah. things should move and all of that and i'm glad to be in great company <laughs> yeah it's, it's healing it's healing yeah. the calls yeah. that i have with people and this is something I'm seeing is, is upgrading in me or that has been continued, just a pattern recognition. You know, I talk to you right now. I talk to a friend on a day where I'm going, holy shit, I don't know what's happening, but I'm struggling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sure enough, you pick up the phone and people go, man, I'm going through it. I'm so anxious about yeah. this. You hear something on the news and you go, ah, okay. You know, we're, we're one. Yeah. And it's being felt all over the place. Yeah. And the and the stillness, you know, you're speaking about just being still and being with everything. There's so much going on in that moment. There's it's not passive. We're not just like, you know, right. lazy on the, you know, like there's <laughs> so much going on in that, like, wait, I need to slow down. Wait, I need to be more still, like even slow down more, you mm. know, and say, no, not that. Okay, what? And just to be with that is so rich and so valuable so much comes from that even of course it's going to be uncomfortable but there's so much happening purification self-purification the world collectively i mean oh my god like, i think it's amazing you guys that we're like here and we're <laughs> sane mostly and we're functional and we're like doing this you know yeah. what i mean like because some no, days I hear you. It's like what the fuck? when you like, see you know you see that it's not the case for a lot of people right now yeah, there's that they're here, chance. that they're sane, that they're calm. I mean, people are freaking out. Yeah, you know? I see this with clients or with people that suddenly my practice, as far as trauma release and all that, has like mm -hmm. suddenly just now in the last two three weeks, just everybody's calling. Amped. You know, mm -hmm. that which to me is always an indicator for like, yeah, something is afoot. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it's I, like I want to say it. thank you for saying what you just said, Tara. Because that is a conditioning that I, I have to watch out for every now and then. Doing that work, in my case, a power hour of breath work or taking medicine, going in and seeing where's the, you know, everything that you just said. People just see you do this. Right. <laughs> or, or go, right? It seems right. really comfy and lazy. Yeah. Mm. Which to me is a big trigger. You know, it's like, well, I don't want to be a lazy artist. Right. You know, my father has always joked about that. Oh, the lazy artist just kind of like in the sun and waiting for inspiration. <laughs> and I told him the other day, I was like, this shit is difficult. <laughs> this, right? is, this is this is my work to not jump on the hamster wheel. And so yeah. thanks for uh, for talking about that. Yeah. Mm. I, and it's like you said, it's difficult. Like people think, oh, it's just that's like it's 
people going and going and going, that's even though they might be miserable, that's like the easy thing for them to do because it's the conditioning. It's what we're all supposed to do. So get some of those people to slow down and stop and see how, like, you know, it's very like the most challenging thing, right? Yes. For most people. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah that's- maybe that leads me to feel that maybe we can converse about the ways that we distract ourselves and the ways that we have also up leveled in the way that to cutting out those distractions, right? Because when we really come down to the basics of really being with yourself, even taking away, which for me, I'll speak for myself, right? There's always something to do, right? I can do my yoga. I can do my breath. I can do something. Who am I when I don't have any of that? When I don't have the breath work, when I don't have the writing, when I don't have all the things that one way or another we're using also as tools to cope with this time, right? Can we, and, and healthy tools, I would like to believe and from my own experience. Now, how have we, I think two, twofold here, because it could be inspiring for other people. In what ways have we found ourselves distracting ourselves? And also in what ways have we conquered? And what are the tools that we have used to conquer, you know, aspects or difficulties or stresses or whatever thing? Right, right. That's a big question and a difficult one because I... I mean, first of all, I do spend a lot of time, the the way I conduct my practice is, and you could say this is a distraction. I I don't believe that. I think it's a heightening of being present, but you take medicine, whether it's cannabis or ayahuasca, and then you are, my job is to be present, non-distracted, just Mm -hmm. be still and flow with whatever goes through. So I think that is the time when I probably do the least. It seems like you're doing the least. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. yeah. but I know like that I'm not. I, I'm not distracting. Let's put it that way. Right, right. That is the pure time, or when I do my breath work, even if I don't do the actual breath, but just go into that place where you're going. Okay, I'm staying away from doing. I'm observing. Right. So I spend a good amount of hours in that, which then, which is weird, when I come out of it. But that's why I still smoke cigarettes. I smoke two to three cigarettes a day. Because I'm like, I just need to distract. This is too, <laughs> this is too present. I can't. Too much. It's too much. Mm. You know, there's so much going through uh, that I have that. So I, I know I distract. And again, to me, for example, the cigarettes got the worst rep from all the medicines. And I'm not promoting cigarettes to at all, you guys. <laughs> but compared to, for example, alcohol, like, I think cigarettes to me, they're a breath tool. Mm. You know, you will never have as much of a rhythm and as much of a, even though you are taking in something on it. Right. Um, so it's my way of sitting alone. I get alone time because most people don't smoke anymore. Mm-hmm. I get to get to breathe. So that's a distraction. And then, yeah, I, when you said when we do nothing, yeah, I, I'm so uncomfortable. And I, and I dare myself to sit in it and to be aware of it. But I, I want to say where I do absolutely nothing, if I'm having a great day with that and I'm really focusing on it, I maybe get half an hour in. Yeah. And I think I'm exaggerating. I'll do a cold <laughs> yeah. plunge at the river. I'll put on my, my earplugs and, and blindfolds to just feel nature. But I'm doing something. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So just just being me, ah, uh, yeah, no, that's, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's challenging. Your clarity, it's, yeah, love. it's love you know, you, honesty and, uh, yeah, I um, <laughs> that was a lot of unraveling for me of identities, and we talk about that here a lot, mm-hmm. like I, our identities of even doing all these things. Oh yeah, I do my meditation and I do. You know, but yeah, what is it? Even if you're not sitting down to have a goal or a focus or meditating or whatever, and you're just like, I'm just being and just allowing whatever to come up and not name it or label it or not do anything with it. 
Like we don't have to always do stuff with our triggers. I mean, there's definitely value in that. And I do that as well, but sometimes we're just, what if we're just like interact, just interacting with ourselves and just being ourselves. Yeah. I, it definitely used to be difficult for me as well. You know, not so much anymore, but still, I mean, still, if I have a day where I'm duh, 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 going and then sitting down, it's like, okay, wait, what else, what else, what else? to be, because it's so ingrained in us that that is our value. Our value is what we do. Our value is the identities we bring, you know, I mean, that's just like the machine, right? Like you must be, uh, I don't know, whatever, be doing something. So I think it's just, it's so good to unravel our identities of who we think we are, what we think we are. And now that as we're talking about it, I'm also wondering so let's include the meditation of these the stages in once you're in, right? Because that's, I think the point is to get to not doing and, yeah. you know, the people that are doing this right now a lot, that's, that's the space that they're in. And I do think our natural birthright place is to create. Yeah. I do think we are doers. I don't think the human race is meant to just sit. Yeah, right. I no. think I think that's to catch up, and I think that's to heal, and I think that's to, like you said, that's unravel right. the made up identities, yeah. right. especially now. And my dream and hope to talking about putting dreams out there is that we get to a place again where we can. I think we're preparing for a time of massive flow state mm. where we are doing, and we're not concerned about doing because we're not busy doing anymore. Right. Yeah, but we are going. Just, hey, yeah, doing this, creating this, and it's it's rich, right? It's like tending to the garden. It's gardening, all that stuff. Mm. Um, but this seems to be a season of damn winter. <laughs> you know, yes. it's a yeah. long ass winter. Game of Thrones had it right. <laughs> winter is coming. Winter is here. Winter, winter is, is here. here. It's been here. It's been here. Um, <laughs> Let I love that. Thank you for bringing this flow state because I agree with you. I think there's so much unraveling and the need for being is trying to balance out the machine that we've been operating in the doing. And it's very unbalanced. And I do believe that when you get to that flow, it's so effortless. So there is. Is no, you are just not really trying and you're not feeling like the, the just the weight of that trying. Right. And we've been trying for a long time to just catch up. And there's always more. There's always this. There's I haven't done this. I have to in, in almost like in order to be able to I have to do this, learn this and da, 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 da. And now we're like. Wait a minute. What's already in me? that can be brought out that I don't need to reach out so much. How do we balance this? And I love the vision that you had that we're coming into this times of, of this. This is just so beautiful to think of everyone feeling that inspiration, right? Moving from where they feel inspired to, and it's going to be different for everybody. And that kaleidoscope is just so magnificent. Ooh. Yeah. I hope I live to see that, you know, I mean, that's, that's where the trust is right now to sort of go on one hand, you have people telling you about nuclear war and yeah, all the other <laughs> concerning things mm. <laughs> and then inside and, and with people like you and, and um, the community that is interested in, in paradigm shifts, you have this hope of, no, I think it's going to be really wonderful. Mm. But it's yeah. this edge right now where you got to stay again right now is still the I think that time of being observant and, and yeah. you know, staying centered because we're not we're we haven't tipped yeah. into either either direction, you know. And I, I'm very curious about the next three to six months. Mm. astrologically what people have been saying, the feeling in my in my heart and gut, mm -hmm. I feel like we're about to redo the first six months of the pandemic, mm. not physically necessarily, but the lessons and the hardships mm. now from a vantage point of, did you, are did we you clear? <laughs> yeah. Did you? Where do you want to go? Did Where do you, you want to stand? Yeah. You know, it's, it's yeah. like the benevolent mother earth sort of going, okay, did you learn children? You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's, yeah. Let's see. I had a, I actually said it for the first time a few days ago. 
that I was okay with not seeing it in my lifetime. And I didn't feel grief when I said that. And it was the first time because I've actually felt pretty attached to experiencing whatever we are creating. And I was just so nonchalant. I was just like, oh, yeah, you know, maybe I, I, maybe I won't even be here to see it. But, man, we're doing this for our kids, our kids' kids. And there was a really big upliftment that I felt because I realized that looking back in history, oftentimes not everybody got to see the seeds that they planted, you know, blooming. And I felt okay with that. Not that I would not like to see it. I would like to yeah. get me wrong, but it was a, a deep calm of like, all right. It's fine. I'm not quite there yet. I'll be really yeah. honest with you. Yeah. I, I want to so bad because I think that's necessary to, to get there. I think when we all get there, that's probably when it happens. That's how let go. Like, oh, we're not trying anymore. <laughs> I have moments and like this year was a really great year for me and the sense of just like we've we've managed to create this really abundant life for our family and i went since i spoken to you i i got to go out and um live my legends of the fall dream i was a cowboy in the mountains yes you were free riding and, and herding horses and yeah. you know and i went to germany i'm doing this 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 release trauma release work that's rewarding mm -hmm. so in those times i feel like you feel i feel like yeah it's great. Like I, I, I manage to enjoy life, even, even though I have to work fairly, not even hard, but consistently to stay in my own flow state. And yet, I'm. I long for uh, the connection. Yeah. You know, there's something about communion in that flow state, and I think this comes from a lot of filmmaking. It's just. You get addicted to this coupling. It's like sex, you know. Mm -hmm. Masturbation is fantastic. Uh, <laughs> way, to, way to switch, but you know what I mean. Like, I it, it's, yeah, it's amazing. Scary. But you know what's really, really even more awesome is to have somebody that goes, "Do you want to do that together?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, right. And I think that goes for for creativity. That goes for spending money, like got money you know what i want to do i want to invite some friends to enjoy it yes yes um my, my my visions are never me on a mountain by myself you know uh mm. so i i hope I, i'll i'll get to that state of not longing for that i'm longing for it hard right now mm. i'm oh. pining i embrace you in that longing I know what that yeah. feels like. And of course I have my moments of that longing too. It's just that I, you know, just, it was just like, oh, I did not feel attached to it for the first time. And it was wonderful. Like, I think that's the goal. But, like, but how even, long I stay there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but even as you speak, Falk, about all the things that, mm -hmm. you know, the, like your abundant life and you have family around and you've been in the mountains and doing these things, like, like this positive future that we're all like, oh, one day we'll get there and we'll all like we, we are there. Like to me, right. I see so much evidence that mm -hmm. and if we actually just looked around at our own lives individually, like things that are day to day for us, like our lives are freaking amazing. Right? I'm not saying everybody, I'm not saying all the time, right? There are things that are shifting and changing and expanding and leaving and all of that. But like it's it's here, it's in us. You know, so when we have like, cause I have that too, like, oh, I want to see it. I want to see this like utopia type place if that exists. Right. But then I have to remind myself it's, it's here, it's right here. And that is, if we all decide that now, like yeah. that's what creates, you know, instead of one day we'll get there. Like, even though I know there's a lot that, that is leaving that will make more well, it's, it's whether you choose to visit things. right it's whether you choose yeah. to visit that mm -hmm. place inside of you like you just said it's yeah. like that's really like how often and how many people choose to right. live in that way that's really what we're where we're headed right because everybody has the capability to do it to switch yeah. it on a dime yeah right i think believing that and this is the paradigm thing i think what we believe yeah. how things work that will help or change how often we all meet in that place. You know? Right. 
Mm. And, and we're all there already, so, mm. you know, like even if we don't remember it. <laughs> right. Yeah. I just had this major, almost like psychedelic experience when you both oh. were speaking right now of like. Oh, good for you. Yeah. Tell us. Give us some. That's still <laughs> downloading. Like it's still <laughs> happening, but um, I don't want to put too many words into it, but. Everyone reaching down to that space inside of them. It's connecting the dots and creating the sacred geometry of what this is going to look like in the mm. physical. So mm. as we know, the physical is the densest of matter, right? So it takes physical time to actually actualize itself in it. But I just saw this beauty. I mean, whoo, getting the chills as I speak, but this beautiful grid of all of us creating this internal sacredness that is activating and connecting in this pattern that is creating this bigger sacred picture and it's you know lifting and it's coloring and it's materializing and it's just that. wow I just it was mm. ooh. Ooh. I love that mm. yeah so thank you for for being here and yeah and I know that in every circle, in every ceremony, in every breathwork session, in every class where people are coming together with that intention, right? To get clear with themselves, to really figure out what is it that they want from that heart space, that space beyond what we think we should and could. There is something really beautiful. I'm feeling it right now as I'm speaking because of just the physical vision that I had and the, the feeling. There's an expansion happening. And I think that because we've been contracting and expanding so much lately, right? Because it has been like this, yeah. I believe, for everybody. I don't, I don't know anybody yeah. who's been cruising. <laughs> yeah. The contraction and the expansion. So every time we contract, there's a bigger expansion. And the contractions feel more intense for me, especially lately. It feels denser and thicker and, and, and lower, right? So oh. there's something because we're going like this. There's something needs to because for every force, there's equal opposing force, right? To match. And to create the balance. So I'm going to stop here because I already put you no, <laughs> many this words. Great. I, love I mean, first of all, so when I see you do this, I think of a heartbeat. Um, yes. You know, a heart, a heart contracts and it releases and it contracts and releases. So again, I, I get this strong sense that it won't be our goal. I'm just turning my email off. There you go. Um, you got this with the contractions and the, expansion and i wonder if the thing is just to put a line right in between mm. that is our observation i don't think the contraction expansion will ever disappear right right unless you get to the next plane and maybe we'll do that here i can't it's a concept that is a bit too i don't know what that would mm. physically mm. manifest as but i think that's you, you it's it's a necessary thing the wave coming in and the wave pulling out just our attachment and our physical yes. uh, entanglement in it is, I think, what we're loosening to just sort of go, yeah, to get to that place. I always say to clients, like, just observe and just go, ah, oh, that's interesting. I'm really, I'm really flipping out. My body is flipping out, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And yeah. I have, I, yeah. I had this episode last week. I just collapsed. I was on the floor playing with my son. And my lower back seized. This never happened to me before. I had chronic low back pain forever, sciatica, but never an episode of like a, a lightning yeah. hit flat on the ground. I had to call my, thank God my mom and dad were here. Aww. Kim was gone. And it was so bizarre to know, okay, I could not take care of my boy right now. Mm. You know, I'm, in, my, in my mind, I'm praying that if it was really a need, my body would have figured it out. Or my body knew that everything was fine, so it chose the moment. Right. But I was out, like massive. Talk about contraction. Mm. You know, for those into the physical, like just every every fascia muscle contracted, uh, and to to protect my spine. Nothing mm. happened, but it's a movement that the body does to go danger. You need to lock up and not hurt mm -hmm. anything. Yeah. And, you know, my mom's a doctor and everybody went into, you should take a, an ibuprofen to relax the muscle and it's okay to do that. And I was like, no, I, 
there's a reason this is happening, yeah. you know, and I was going to get on a plane a day later. And the reason I'm telling this story is because it, it was one of those contractions and it was really fun. People thought I was crazy. I took this too far, but I was like, <laughs> what a fun opportunity to see if a, I can walk the, you know, the talk and B, is this really how the body works? Can mm. I, mm. can I change the energy pattern and then let my body know it's safe? And it, it that's how it worked. And it was beautiful mm. to see also just, it was all there for me. The, the back yes. seized. Yeah. Cause yes. I was incapable of asking for support. Mm-hmm. You know, so my body knew yeah. it's mm-hmm. like, we'll put you down. So you have to literally go, mom, <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, help. Yeah. as this, as this <laughs> tough man, I couldn't just go, mom, I'm tired. Can you just take the boy? Yeah. I just need to watch yeah. Game of Thrones and not do any <laughs> breath work. Not, you know, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. so that story mm-hmm. just came to mind about, I think it's the, we're, we're sitting in a, in the driver's seat and we're going to be able to observe more and be less involved in mm. both the ups and the downs. Right. Yeah. Yes. We go, oh, yes. that's lovely. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> yeah. 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 Things just kind of, yeah. Knowing yeah. it's not us. Like we're kind of just steady eddies. Mm. And I just want to throw, I have a question for you, Falk, but before that, I want to throw in there. Um, this whole notion of duality, right? Of the mm-hmm. light and the dark and the yin and the yang. And that's that's the physical earth that we live in. And as earth is shifting, because we're all shifting and we're all completely like not who we were and we're not going to be who we are now. Like we're upgrading in all these ways. So is earth. And so so is maybe the rules here, if you will. And all of that, I, I feel that. And Very so, much so. Let's just throw in, um, quadrality <laughs> like what is that like what is instead of two maybe there you know and and I don't I didn't make this up there's a, a a woman Jacqueline who does this work and she constantly talking about quadrality and I'm all I'm I'm in that curiosity about what does that feel like what does that mean well you know but just throwing it in there like there's other possibilities here too and there's so much more than just like one and two has she given you any any can you share any um yeah if you <laughs> idea of quadrality <laughs> Yes and no. I mean, it's more just a feeling of it, but she talks about the cross, you know, not like the Jesus or like a cross, but just like a cross and like there's four points and, and quadrality is meeting yourself in this new place. What is that Mm. new place? Like what, what else is possible here besides just going into our, like going into this new space that we're all creating where it's, we got to be different to go there. We can't be who we've always been and what all the rules are, right? It's got to be more than that expanded. And so I'm just throwing that in there for our listeners and for all of us. And it, cause it feels really fun and exciting to me and like, Ooh, you know, and it's even beyond that. Like, that's just a concept. It's all just mental concepts, but just the experience of it. I don't know. Yeah, it's new. It's unknown. I think, I mean, this goes well with what I said about trying to find people that are willing to try this new way of, and there's a very like 3D version of this, but, you know, encouraging people to go, I don't want to know. Mm, That's the movies I want to see. That's the characters I want to see. I don't want to know, like, take me, take me, lift me up and put me in a place that I don't know. Yes, that I haven't no. made before, that I don't need to Oof. control. Mm. Yeah. And here we are doing right. that, right? In our oh. lives. So we're able to tell that story. I just had that inside again. <laughs> like, yeah. Okay, put me in this place where I do, right? With the art. But then how can we share that story if we don't know what that story is in our being? Inside. Yeah. yeah. So if you do you want to talk? Oh, just went. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guys, this I mean this could be a good place to end. But wait, I, do, I just want to No, it's too no, soon. No, wait, just I have a question. I do have a question. I just want to touch I want to touch on something because you talked about the cross, the cross keeps coming back for me and I just read something so beautiful about the cross recently. First it started when I heard this Irish energy worker talking about how he clears out entities and, and 
energies that are just stuck right in a loop, either close to somebody and or around a being, whatever. Well, however you want to make this up, listeners, just for your own entertainment. But he said, the only thing that has worked for me is to send that back, to send them back to the Christ and heart. And that is when you form a cross in that center. So it's never the horizontal line is never in the middle, right? So it's a little bit more upwardly. And that center right there is the Christ and heart. And so I do a lot of energy work. And so I've been playing with that. And it's the other day, there was an entity around my child. There were actually three. And one, you know, easily went back to the Christ and heart and the light. And that's how I envision it. And the other two spiraled, almost like holding hands together towards it. Just, I didn't know if they were happy and they were like, eh, eh, dancing or they were just being <laughs> taken by that energy. Whatever you want to make out of this. My point is, Last week I was reading, and then the 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 cross came up again, and it said, "Have you ever thought that the crucifixion of Christ? I'm doing quotation here, is when man meets God. Mm. It's when finally man releases its own personal identity and meets yeah. the Creator. Oh, and it's the positioning too. The positioning the where you're just open, right. you're just completely released. And yeah. then again, it's that cross, right? And then yeah. that space. So I just wanted to share that because it was, yeah, it beautiful. was matched yeah. with when you brought up the yeah. quadrality. And yeah. you know, I was just like, oh my God, it's all, all the little pieces, right? Start to kind yeah. of come They're together. all starting to make sense. Yeah. yeah. Energy work is becoming so fascinating. I'll share this with you because I think you'll enjoy it. And, um, I'm going to go and film me taking a, a, a course called Vibra Vision. Okay. Uh, have you guys heard of this? Mm -mm. No. Uh, is this the thing in Germany? So, or? This is in Utah. Uh, yes, they do have it in Germany. They do have okay. it. And I think we talked about it briefly. There is a movement going on that's called Mindsight, where uh, people are teaching kids to read with their eyes closed, with a blindfold on, to mm -hmm. see the perceive the world through just through consciousness yeah and that is very documented that's for all the listeners you can look it up this isn't this isn't a theory this is a fact yeah um these kids are riding bikes playing video games running parkour at a high speed completely blind and vibravision took this technique from indonesia as a martial arts but it's what they focused on was the breath meditation that gets you to that state and they're helping um non-seeing to see again or to orient and have a different sense of the world and i i called him up and said how are you not cnn number one news right now like how is this here we are watching x-men yeah. and the avengers and we're so enthralled <laughs> Right. By superpowers. Right. And you hear you got the actual school, Charles Xavier school. What's happening? And he said, I, he doesn't know. And his vision is beautiful. He said, you know, they want to reach, they want to reach around 1 billion people within the next five mm. years and wow. teach them. That. He said, you know, that'll be the crucial amount to mm. then travel over. And I was like, I, I want to help. And I think it's ironic. Or, or fun that I played a superhero and we can just, you know, and, yeah, you know yeah. and I just find it so fascinating. This is something I'm really keen on is for the, the manifestations, which I think reflects in science. You know, I think the people that love science and need science are just people that like to see things fully manifested before they, you know, open up. Mm. Um, and and yeah, I'm excited for that. So hearing you talk about your your approach to it and what you perceive, or do you see this, Liz, or do you feel it, or do you sense it? It comes in, it comes in different in different forms for me when I'm doing it. It's some sometimes it's very sensorial. Sometimes it's vision, right? I'm seeing. Oh, no, that's cool. Sometimes I'm feeling. There's a sense of. You know, sometimes temperature changes and things like that. Sometimes I hear and I've always heard and smelled, oh, but gosh. now it's just becoming more and more clear. And the vision for me, I'm like, 
allowing myself to see things that I've always perceived. And I've always had people tell me, why are you looking up my head? Why, why are you, was my hair messed up? I mean, it happens all the time and I'm not aware I'm doing that. And so years ago, a woman had told me like, you know, you're seeing their energetic field, right? And I said, yeah, I've been able to see it from time to time, but it's not a conscious thing that I'm doing. So she's like, well, you're reading with your senses, right? You're reading people and things, not in the physical. Yeah. And so I just decided to explore that myself. So yeah, when I'm in session, there's different ways that things will kind of be downloaded and, and funneled That's... through. And my own perception of what I get to share or not, right? Because I'm finding that not everything is necessary to be shared, you know? Yeah. Because it can also create another load or another conflict in the moment that then yeah. triggers other things. So it's it's yeah. finding that the finesse, yeah. right? The elegance in that work. So yeah. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Uh, mm. I, I've been learning that a lot. You know, I'm I'm fairly new. I've only been doing it for like two and a half years now, three. But that finesse, you know, not to like blow up too much. Right. You know, I not know. to not to just sort of like get, lay it all there because it's like that's not necessary. And again, the the ego comes in, right? You're like, yeah, because you want to. I see the shit. Yeah. Like I gotta, I gotta like let you know. <laughs> I'm seeing this. And, yeah. I'm seeing, seeing this, and you need to, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because uh, even when somebody tells you back, like, oh, this, and oh, yeah, and then they feel it, in the, right? So there's that confirmation. And I agree with you. It's yeah, kind of letting that take a step back and trusting like yeah just, not everything needs to be verbalized uh -oh. or said because the process is yeah. much deeper than that yeah because we all that's see tough. in those ways i mean uh, you know we all i, I see. think that go ahead sorry go ahead paul no you go ahead wait a second <laughs> No, you no. <laughs> so I was just saying, I and was then just, it just saying, fades out. The, no, and then no, it's you, over. No, you, no, you, no, you. <laughs> no, I was just saying, like, like we, you know, we can heighten that, we can nurture it, those abilities and all of those things. But I think if we can recognize in ourselves that we all have the ability to yes. sense things, not on the physical, but in all these different, you know, levels. And um, and I was just going to share my experience with with seeing, cause I see too, but I don't see, like I see you guys, right. I see in my mind's eye, I feel the seeing in a way, but I'll yeah. usually wait until my client or whatever asks me, you know, what do you see? Or can you see something or, you know, that's just how, because I'm not, I'm going in as a, a coaching. It's not necessarily, I'm going in to read yeah. you, you know, okay. um, and that usually works out well. If they're asking, then it's, then it comes, it's like, Oh, okay. They're ready. Well, and they're ready, right? They're they're literally they're fighting it in. Yeah. yeah. I'm curious about this thing you're doing. Where is it at? You said that you're going to go film. Well, it was supposed yeah. to be in Cancun in November, mm -hmm. and uh, then something happened with them. They had to push that, and it's now next March, and it might be at their headquarters, which is in Utah. Utah. Okay. Uh, um, or they they're doing the Cancun thing. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, but I'm hoping that they'll, they'll stick with that and that we'll do this together. And it's just something I've been, it's something I would love to promote, you know, it's like, oh yeah, that, that is something I can get behind. Yeah. And I just want to learn more about it. I'm so when I hear you say you can see things, even in ayahuasca, I've seen uh, an ayah maybe once or twice, eyes open mm -hmm. where I'm like, there's a paradigm shift. This is there. I still remember it. I'm not blurry. I'm not like, Ooh, you know, right. I'm like how we are right now. And I just go, Holy shit. I see an entire. <laughs> I, that'd be so exciting. You know, I, I just feel, you know, and I'm starting to feel stronger and feel patterns. or just kind of know where, what it is, or I, I'm starting to really realize the physical manifestation of energy and, and the mm. muscular structure mm. fascinates me. But yeah, the idea to like have a visual with it. Yeah, just take you know, it. I, yeah. uh, this is the uh, the like kid in me where I'm like, yeah. sci-fi, let's do it. <laughs> I want all the superpowers, all the superpowers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. <laughs> but I'm really excited to hear more, and I'm gonna I'll I'll keep in I touch. Look into the... what you want to do because it it really lit me up when you were speaking about it. With you know being, I mean, all of it. My body was just like, yes, yes. Well, I want to learn that too. Like, and we're yeah. all learning at different levels. But 
to have the experience. I once heard about breatharianism in a talk and my whole body lit up. It was the same thing. I was just like, oh my God, yes, I want to try that. And my what friend- is that? Being a breatharian where you don't really eat food and you're sustained by light and air it's and like water. Is this, a, is this an actual thing? It's an actual thing. And I actually met a guy, Ray, who was the first person documented to do that for TV. He was in Israel, I believe. And they monitor him, even the amount of water they would give him to brush his teeth so they could really monitor his body functions and all that. And he did it for a week and it was it was documented for TV that he could sustain himself. And they were just like, whoa, in that when they did blood work and everything was optimal in his body. Right. And so I was, it took me to I was just like, whoa, what? And my friend who was with me. She was like, oh, my God, I would never want to do that. <laughs> and it was so good. It was so fun, uh, yeah. right? Um, yeah. And then after that, a few years after that, I was taking care of my mom, who was, you know, in her transitional period. And I found a book about breatharianism in Brazil that so she had, and she had highlighted and, and you know, underlined. And I brought it and I read it. And so it's always in the back of my mind of like. And Tara had brought up in one of our um, episodes too, where she. I was talking about a woman who that naturally just happened for her. And so, um, yeah, for me, it's the path of not forcing anything. But man, what an experience. Because Ray actually does retreats where you go experience that. What is that like, right? So there's emotional support. And he talks about a lot of food, a lot of culture and communities around food. And that's the hardest part, right? It's being yeah. with people and being like, I'm okay, I'm not eating. And, and people don't take that very lightly. They get, you know, so it, it's very, well, yeah. And you're, you're sensing, I mean, it's, it's a way to experience yourself, right? Yes. The Correct. taste, you're like, here's my mouth, here's my stomach, yeah. here's yeah. this, here's the nurturing. And I can only imagine, I mean, it sounds like, and it makes sense that it's called breatharian and breath, say it again. Bre yeah. Being a breatharian or breatharianism. Yeah. Cause I do, I do with the breath stuff that I do. I, I definitely go, if you focus on life force, which to me is breath, yeah. and you direct it and you really take care of where it's jumbled up right now, uh, it makes total sense to me, you know, and to do that on that level, the discomforts <laughs> right, yeah. that you would be facing. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's but I'm why with I you. I'm like, I'm in for five days. Yeah. For five, yeah, five, five days. Yeah. I'll do it for five days. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're like, let's see what this is all about. Yeah. Like, I'll, I'll pay a lot of money. <laughs> To not, to not eat, eat. To not drink, to not eat. <laughs> and, you know. But think about it also when you talk about the prana, when you hear um, breatharians talk, and obviously a lot of people say to meet a full breatharian, those people are hiding in the Himalayan mountains. They're not living a city life, right? Because there's so much pulling out of you. They have to be in a very pristine environment to be able to sustain that. Of course, of course. But they talk about how Nature will nourish you and feed you. So it's the airs, it's the air, it's the sunlight, it's the touch, it's your barefoot on the ground. All of that is charging you. Yeah, yeah. Right, and it's, it's a fascinating to me. There's so wow. much that's coming in that way that I'm excited. This is this is the stuff where I'm like, I hear you. I I, I guess maybe I'm now getting to that place where you, uh, where I wasn't half an hour ago, like. <laughs> <laughs> this will be fun enough for me to fill the rest of my life even if the rest of the world continues this bullshit yeah you know it's right. like yeah yeah and and one thing i want to just say that liz touched on is when i talked about the woman that i know who does this who is you could say she wouldn't call herself a breatharian because mm -hmm. she's not into any of the you know labels and stuff but it happened 100 percent natural for her there was no thought in her head i'm not going to eat anymore it wasn't a thing. It just naturally happened where she just was like, I don't need that. And she does every once in a while have this sure. or that, but she, for the most part, she doesn't eat. She barely drinks anything. Um, she, she made it, she said, I didn't really lose weight when this happened. So it was just her body going, this is something I don't need or want. She does mm -hmm. live somewhere in nature. Um, and she's like taking a, a hike is like a big meal for me. You know, like she made that statement. I was like, wow. But I just want to iterate that for people because 
you know, this idea of like, Ooh, yeah, that sounds good. I'm, I'm going to do, try to do that. Right. Mm-hmm. And that, not, not that there's anything wrong with that. I mean, you can go and you can have a fast basically for five days or whatever it is, but like for this to be something that is alive in you, I think is probably very rare for most people on the planet at this time. Mm-hmm. And also it's just something that like all things, you know, it, it'll be a resonance and then let's see right. how does it happen naturally for us? If yeah. it does, you know, cause it, it sounded really at first I was like, Oh yeah, that sounds great. I would love to like all the time cooking and all the time, you know, all of that. <laughs> takes up a lot of energy. It takes yeah. a lot of energy, you know, but then in the end I'm like, you know what? I love to eat <laughs> and I'm okay with that. And I'm going to keep doing that for as long as it feels good. You know, like I love yeah. food. I love eating. I just, I love it. For anything shared in the Source Connection podcast, folks, always consult with yourself first before you do Yes, anything. yes, we're not recommending <laughs> you. You know what's right for you. Yeah. And I think that's that's ultimately the goal, right? It's just to yes. figure out yes. how yes. much breatharian you need in you, how much of this, how much of that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, yes. You can do anything. I yes. honestly think you can go and levitate if you want. Yes. It probably needs you to clear everything else off the books. <laughs> for a while. <laughs> for a you long know, time, but, yeah. but but I, yeah, I think that's the, that's the, this uncovering of who we really are and what's capable. It is yes. limitless. You know? yes. The possibilities. Yes. I know we could like go on forever, but. Um, you have a list. So yeah, like. last, last um, share or. Um, I'm just going to say, thanks for having me on. This is so fun. <laughs> when you want to continue, but you got to cut it, that's how you know you're having a good time. I know, right? <laughs> um, what we talk about, I want to uh, just say thanks for, you know, creating that space mm. and being inspired to do that. And then to the audience, whoever's listening, especially the ones that are struggling right now, mm. uh, take good care of yourselves. Yeah. I think we are going through a collective time of you know, contraction and, and pain and, and all our old, sh- old shit is being brought up. So take the baths, take the time, ask yourselves every day, what do I need? Mm. And then give it to yourself and or call on support systems like Tara, Liz, myself, um, anyone that you have around, other modalities, I don't care. But just be good to yourself. Mm. Yes. And where where can um, people find you again? Oh, just remind uh, for for support in that realm, uh, it's yep. Breath of Change twenty twenty at gmail dot com. Okay. Breath of Change twenty twenty yeah. gmail. Yep. And other than that, yeah, no, that's that's the one. That's it. Okay, that's the that's one. Yes, and you right, find so- if you just Google, you find you find all. You'll find me out there. You'll find them. You'll find them in the clouds. Yeah, that's right. That's Thank right. you so much for being that's here. Fun. So good to catch. Thanks catch for up. Me. Yeah, yeah. So much love. Yes. In touch. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>